Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So what I'm going to do is show you how to generate a normal map. Now there's two ways of doing this. I'm saying that nearly all photogrammetry softwares have some process to generate a normal map from uh, your mesh. But in the event that you don't, or you don't want to go down that route, there is another way of doing it. You can take it into a 3D uh, texturing program, something like say Substance Painter. What you can do is you export your high polygon model and your low polygon model. You then import your low polygon model into Substance Painter and then you bake down the um, high polygon maps onto your low polygon model and it will give you a similar um, similar thing as this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it in the software and this should be applicable across um, nearly all uh, photogrammetry softwares. So what we'll do is when we decimated our, our model um, we got this little error, so I'll just show a little warning, sorry. Um, so I'll just say mesh, I'll just show you, decimate, we got this. Do you want to replace the default model? And um, I selected no, because I wanted to keep the high uh, poly model and the low poly model. And the reason is, is this is for the uh, normal maps. So what we'll do is we want to make sure our low poly model is selected. And so I'll just double click on it, so we've selected it. And then we'll right click on chunk, process, texture. Um, actually, what I'll do is you don't need to follow this. I'll just remove the texture so we can see what's happening. So you don't need to, to worry about this. This is just to show you. Um, so again, make sure our model selected. Chunk, process, textures. So when we drop this down, we have our diffuse and we have our occlusion. And now in the middle, we have normal map. So what we'll do is we'll select normal map. So this basically is taking the information from our high polygon model and putting it down on a normal map. Now, um, obviously, the higher the polygon, uh, the higher the, the poly count model, the more detail you'll probably get on your normal map. Um, but what we'll do is we'll press OK with our normal map selected, and this is going to generate basically a blue, uh, what will look like a blue texture. Um, and this is going to see here it's added detail into the map. So we've got a little stitch in here. Um, we've got uh, more stitching here, uh, we've got little yeah, embossed in our model there. Um, so basically uh, what we can then do is obviously export this out to our, um, as a texture. So what I'll do is I'll just process the normal texture, uh, which is the same as before, diffuse, obviously yours will probably still be done. So that's that done, um, it's processed um, our final texture. So then what we can do, same principle as before, is we can right click, Export, Texture, and we can say, again, Targa, name it Normal. Then from the drop-down, select our normal map. OK. So that's basically showing you how to export, how to create a normal map, and how to export it out um, ready for your 3D software. Um, so now let's move on to the next part, which is bringing in your own custom UVs and how we do that.